What is going on, YouTube family? So, uh, it's about three in the afternoon right now. And I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I woke up at about, I wanna say like nine-ish. Was planning on going to the gym. Was on my way there, doing some drone shots. And just realized the work, like the quality of the workout was not gonna be there this morning if, if I went at the time I did. So, I took my ass back home went to sleep for about an hour and a half, went to my dentist appointment, just now getting my coffee. It is three o'clock in the afternoon. I am having caffeine for the first time and I never do that. So uh, yeah, and also six months ago, I didn't drink coffee at all. These last six months, all I've drank is hot coffee. I, I've like, just the thought of cold coffee like doesn't even sound right, like ice in your coffee, but as of the probably like the last like three weeks, iced coffee cannot get enough of it. I got three espresso shots and what do they call it? It's a, this is an iced latte. I, I sat at the drive-thru for way too long to get the most basic drink you can get. I literally, I, the, the lady was just sitting there waiting on me to order. I was sitting there probably like five minutes looking at the menu because like this coffee shit, Starbucks menu is like, it's, it's a foreign language to me, but iced coffee right now is definitely where it's at. Like, hot coffee doesn't even sound appealing. I've only had a few sips, <laughs> I've only had a few sips of this and I already feel kind of gassed up. Uh, hey, let's get into it. This is today's pre-workout. No beam, been going crazy on the beam pre-workout the last month, taking it every day, but I'm switching it up with some coffee this morning. I'm gonna run by my boy Ty's house to get a non-stim pre just to you know kind of enhance the pump and then we're gonna link up at la fitness get us a nice back bicep trap session we've been training so incredibly hard recently and we're gonna keep that momentum going i'm gonna bring you guys along through the workout won't be a voiceover today won't be an edit um it'll be like a really really raw style workout i don't even know if i put music over it but this video is going up a little bit later in the week, but that doesn't mean that you guys can't show the same amount of love as you guys would have on a Monday. So I'm gonna go ahead and need y'all to like that video right now. Subscribe if you haven't already and hit the notification bell for your boy. I'll see y'all wherever I see y'all next. Scoop of the of your, your, your your finest pre, sir. Your finest pre. Yeah. Let me guess. Uh, Alright, that's a little bit better. So I just drank a coffee with three espresso shots in it, and like, it's not doing enough. <laughs> it's not doing what I needed to do. So I'm probably gonna take. You know how many milligrams? Two hundred or just three hundred. Alright, I'm probably gonna take like, like maybe a third or a half a scoop of this. And then a full serve. Yeah, 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 that does sound right. 250. 250, so I'll probably take, shit, probably like a third of a scoop of this and then uh, the full serving of this since this is non stim. So I'm trying to go stupid. Who are you about to hit it with? Myself. Myself. Nah. Have you gone to the gym yet? Nah, I'm about to go in a minute. What you got? Legs. You got legs. Nah, I hit legs yesterday. You did? Yeah. Well, let's go hit back and biceps. What the fuck? Come on. What the fuck? Sheesh. I need some biceps. I need with, with the new, hey, hold on. With the new beam uh, fit. I need a bitch to hold my camera. <laughs> All right. I got to somehow manage to use this as a funnel to pour these powders in this. I guarantee I'm going to find a way to make it much messier than it needs to be, but it's got to be done. Oh, yeah. Then Ty is working out with me now, so I was definitely not expecting that. But it's gonna be nice because I now I got a bitch to hold my camera. <laughs> Let's see if we can make this work. All right, <laughs> two scoops of the non stem pump ghost. Oh no. 
Oh shit. Yeah. Okay. 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 It's not as messy as I would usually make it. That's not bad at all. Alright. I'm gonna shake this up. That was that was much cleaner than I thought it'd be. I'm gonna shake this up. We're gonna get over to the gym and do our thing. Let's do it. Just wrapped up that little pre-workout cardio. Uh, I gotta figure out what we're gonna start on for the first movement. You'd think I'd have this split memorized by now, but I do not. Let's see, back and biceps. Barbell rows, yes sir, we run heavy too. All right, so we're gonna start off on these barbell rows. Got 135, we warmed up with the bar. We're going 20, 15, 12, 10, eight. So eight will probably be my top set with 225. But I'm gonna kind of conserve just a little bit of energy. It doesn't mean I'm not gonna go hard, but I'm gonna conserve just a little bit of energy so I can move that 225 how it should move. So let me find some clamps. Let's jump in. So normally for this set of 10, I would be pulling 205, trying to get that. But right now, since I wanna really, like I've said three times now, work on 225, smoothing it out, I'm going 185 for 10, and then 225 for eight. Okay. All right, here goes the most important thing I'm gonna do today. 225 for eight buttery, extra buttery reps. Buttery. <laughs> That's what's how I get my good angle. This bar, let me let them know. Sometimes these bars are too skinny, like too thin, to use these hooks, and it literally is like more of a hindrance than it is a help. All right, for the fifth time, he's coming in. about to knock out three sets of 20 on this cable rope and what is different about this is usually you'd use like a close grip parallel grip or maybe a wide grip parallel grip or the individual handles but with this we're using basically a straight bar using a supinated position and really really focusing on driving those elbows back to get the lowest part of our lat to activate and that for me in particular is like I have very high lat insertions and this part of my lat towards the bottom is just not thick it needs to thicken up so these are going to be killer for that three sets of 20 then we're going to hop into some dumbbell rows I think three sets of 15 I'm looking forward to those I love rowing
shit got me barking and whatnot, bro. <laughs> <laughs> the first three reps, I promise I was barking. <laughs> Bust out three sets of 12 with this. This I'm really focusing on trap engagement, rhomboids, upper back primarily. So you won't see me really rolling, it'll be more of a pulling motion. If I was going for more lat engagement, you would see me taking my arm and pulling like this. But since I'm going for more upper back engagement, it's really more of a pull through my elbows. So we're really targeting the muscles up here, opposed to like the lower lat. So you're gonna still get a lot of lat engagement, but primarily focusing on activating these. All right, next we're about to hop on this. T-bar row machine. My lower back at this point in the workout is starting to cramp hella. And that's starting to become like much more of a common thing just because I'm pushing, literally pushing my limits with each workout. And then back days are just something I know I have to emphasize that much more. Um, really it's just going stupid on everything. So we got three sets of 10. We're gonna probably keep the weight lighter and just really focus on form, feeling that mind muscle connection. It's just a plate on right now. I'm gonna throw a 25 on, see how that feels up. Let me know in the comments, do you guys, do you guys use this foot thing? I never do. I feel like I just get much more of a, a much better contraction and just a much better feel for the movement when my feet are on the ground. I feel more stable. can see how hard I'm sweating. It ties the same way right now. Um, I'm kind of switching up the order of these workouts right now. I'm going like the most, the most, it's such a hard word to say, the most systemically fatiguing exercises I'm kind of doing first and then working my way down to more like isolations and just like less overall like exertion. I'm just really trying to save my lower back. It's fucking on fire right now. Okay. Pump cover time for it to come off. Got five sets of 10, actually four sets of 10 with a drop set of 10 on close grip lat pull down. Once again, just like the close grip or the straight bar row, we are primarily focusing on getting that lowest point of the lat insertion to really activate. Every time, the fucking second I think about taking my pump cover off, my pump goes away. That's my disclaimer. Fucking go stupid slow on the eccentric and literally try to dig my elbows as far down as they can go on the contraction. stupid dude this is kind of weird though because i can't fully stretch my lats or i can't fully stretch my arms just because there's not enough length here so i had to lean back a little bit more than i wanted to 
If anything, it keeps more tension on your laps, but holy shit. I'm gonna let you go see how that feels, bro. How many? 10. Those, like, you see how slow, slow I'm. I'm talking about stupid slow, bro. And just, like, I'm talking about dig. When you get down there, yeah. We dig it. We dig it. I just figured this out. If I sit on the ground, I get more than enough range of motion. Okay. Sterling Silver, boy. <laughs> All right, check it out. So this brings back kind of like a nostalgic I can't say that word either. A nostalgic feeling. This is where I was doing basically all of my posing practice over prep. Some of this might look familiar, but I'm gonna give you guys kind of a honest physique update of what I'm looking like. Honest, I don't know. I have a decent little pump right now, but you guys get the idea. Chest looks pumped as fuck. I'm not gonna lie. It's no chest pump though. We didn't do no chest. All right, that is gonna conclude this workout. I'll get you guys when I'm walking out or like in the whip or something, just for a little, you know, proper ending to the video. But let me put my clothes back on. I already know I'm gonna take a pic for Instagram, and I'll see you guys in that next clip. All right, I'm not. I'm not. This nigga talking about you trying to golf. All right, so I'm out of the gym probably about like 30 minutes later than uh, than I recorded that last clip. Somehow I got talked into hooping, and that was the first time like I hooped like in an actual gym with actual people in a grip. That shit was fun, and like I was I was just telling Tyler I was like I hate being the saddest nigga hooping. So like I like hooping that, with I and, like hooping. And that's why we came to LA. Yeah, yeah, but that shit was fun as fuck. We just both had the wrong shoes on for that, but I'm sweating like a fucking pig again. Either way though, I don't want to drag this video out too long. I want to thank you guys for watching. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. <sighs> Tune in for the next one. Bulking is going good. We're getting right, we're staying lean, we're getting strong. But uh, I'm gonna see y'all on that next video. Stay tuned. Love y'all.